Hi everyone and welcome to a new Let's Play that we are going to be doing. This is Until Dawn. It's a horror game and I thought that doing a little bit of face cam with this would be a really fun idea. So we're just going to go ahead, start a new story. The reason it says I resume here is because I was just uh, checking settings and things and not actually been playing it uh, properly. It was kind of a mistake. So we're just going to go to a new story and uh, yeah. Alright, so here we go. I do think we have to make like choices and things in this game so it's going to, I think it's going to be really good because um, everybody's going to make different choices. So I love games like this. And I have something in my eye. You actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit? Oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. That mask in the corner was so creepy. I hate masks. Hannah! <laughs> <laughs> She's here! Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. That's a pretty nasty. Where is he? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Okay, let's have a little look around here. What is that light? What is this? Uh, R2. My buttons on this controller are so squeaky. Uh, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh. oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. I see a little light over here. What is it? Where are you going? All right, um, our stick to look around. Okay, pick that up. Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle. Gosh, so squeaky. <laughs> oh, I think I just put it down. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, she's taking 
spider turtle. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, uh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Okay, so um, we could find the others or wake Josh. I want to wake Josh. I'm Josh, Josh, fuck or not, <laughs> guys. There's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah, what's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Think. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. But can't they have, like... Okay, I need to push oh, the right shit. buttons. Oh, geez. But can't she have just ran to a different room? Why does she have to go and go outside? Like, I would have just went to the toilet or something <laughs> and locked myself in. I'm gonna go the fast way. I just... I want... Uh, I want to get to her pretty fast. This is not good. Um, okay, I'm gonna follow the noise. Because there is a guy out there, the footprints don't necessarily mean Hannah, right? Damn it, Hannah. I don't know. Where are you? Oh gosh, there. That was her. How did I go? Okay, follow the footprints. Because I've just seen her run that way. At least I'm sure it was her. Okay, uh, sweet. Alright. Hannah! Okay, so I can move that, but... I'd rather move the camera. <laughs> I feel like they were at such a, a weird angle right now. Okay. Uh, L1 to walk faster. Oh, I uh, don't get jump scared easily, so Hello? yeah, I, I don't know why Hello? I don't. Okay, let's pick that up. Uh, R2. Okay, rotate. So it's a death totem. Okay, let's see what that is. Uh, Totem prophecies, so that's Black's uh, death, um, so they believed that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions each totem, a uh, piece foretells a possible future event, how you play will <laughs> determine whether or not these prophecies come true, as you unlock totems the events of the past will become clear. Can I inspect it? Alright, okay, we've seen that already. Um... All right, let's just continue on our merry way, I guess. Uh, okay, why am I got the light up there? I don't want it up there. I really like the graphics. I think they're really nice. What the hell is that? What the hell was that? Can I go up to that? I don't think so. Oh gosh, and the cat's jumping at the door. Anna. Anna. Hello? Anna. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Mm. Anna?
Let's go up. Uh, let go. Let go. Let go. No, no, no. I should have dropped. Ah. Oh, no. Because now they're both dead. Maybe I should have just dropped her. But then you can't just drop her, can you? I don't know. Oh, where, where are we now? Before we begin, <gasps> there are a few things I need guy. to make sure you understand. It's the guy out of prison break. It looks exactly past. like him. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. It does, doesn't it? Freedom okay. in this revelation. Everything I'm start you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay, well that is totally the guy from Prison Break. I can't remember his name, but oh my goodness, it looks exactly like him. Okay, let's pick this up and turn it. Okay. All right. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Didn't really make me feel much. I didn't feel uneasy or happy. Am I weird? <laughs> um, it's just a picture. Like, um, it definitely didn't make me uneasy. And it actually kind of looks relaxing, I guess. Because it's just a barn and a scarecrow and like you'd be on some farm or something. I don't know. It makes me happy. Let's go with that. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? The sunshine is peaceful. Yeah, it's peaceful. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Yeah. Like, I think that'd be kind of relaxing. I, I'm, I, I don't know. Yeah. Sure. And what if I told you that this cottage oh, I thought it was, a barn. was haunted? I, I wouldn't care, actually. I, I, I really like horror things and I really like, like ghost things and stuff. Um, it wouldn't bother me. Uh, a level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is fighting or something. I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. Okay. Sorry, we're out of time. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Okay, Mr. Prison Break Man. He's definitely the guy from Prison Break. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to insert a picture on this video. I really am. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Yeah. 
Okay, so Hannah's best friend, considerate and adventurous. Okay, I liked her nails. Uh, you know, on the bus, I, I really liked her nails. <laughs> I just wanted, I didn't want to see it then too, because I thought it would ruin Hello? it. Someone there? Sounds like a dog. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Um, RS to move the camera. Okay. I guess we're going to this gate. I'm gonna walk a bit faster. Like, I don't see much difference in the speed. I wish it would run. Okay. What's this note? The gate's busted. Climb over Chris. Okay, well, we'll look at it anyway. Okay. Well, I guess we're going this way. Climb up. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, the safe. Because, yeah, I think that's better. Look at our nails. Uh, oh, uh, jump. I would not be able to do that. That's definitely a dog, isn't it? I think. Is it? I don't know. Sounds like a dog. Just walk fast anyways. Oh. Hey little fella. Squirrel. You hungry? Huh? Uh, okay, don't move. Okay. <laughs> Cutie. Oh. Alright, let's continue. R1, if you're unsure of what to do next, you can see your current objective. Oh, we've got traits. Okay, so we're trying to head to the cable car station. Uh, so Sam is honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, and curious. And she's pretty much the same with everyone. She likes Jess and Mike the least. <laughs> um, What's this? Butterfly effect. Okay. Um, That's the totems. These are clues. Uh, okay. Alright, so... Yeah, so we're pretty charitable and brave. And honest. Not very funny or not very romantic, though. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna keep on following this path, I think. I don't know what this thing is. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, um, guidance and fortune. So yellow and white would be the best ones for these prophecy things as well. I think. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yellow and white. Oh, this is a yellow one. Okay. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up a totem and turning it will reveal it. Okay, cool. That was the wrong button. That was R1. There we go. So that's a guidance totem. Something about a bird. Okay. We'll have to remember that. Alright, let's walk a little faster. Wait, what's this? I just seen like graffiti or something. Okay. The past is beyond our control. Okay. What is can I Chris? You here? Hmm. There's a bag there, in a bin. Oh, the bag's got a little light. We'll have a little look. The bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What? 
do we have here? Hmm. See spoon, so we could snoot our clothes. I uh, I don't really. It's from Ashley. I could see. It's somebody called Ashley. All right, let's close the bag because that's not our business. It was a text. All right. Chris. Sam. Hey, hey, you made it. Okay, so has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Wait, no. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. No. Excuse me, I had other things to look at because there was a door here that I didn't get to go in. Because I was nosy and looked at the back. <laughs> okay, I was locked. Never mind. Let's just walk fast. And follow Chris here. Man, is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear to God, here I'm just all pretty red, right? Back. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Want to try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. So what, we have to practice shooting? Okay. Um, it's the right stick. And press R2 to shoot. Okay. Well, I'm really bad at shooting things. Oh, I meant to be shooting up here. Duh. I thought I was having to like, aim it all myself there. I was like, there's no way I could do that. <laughs> uh, this. And this. Wow, nice shooting tips. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Hmm, so I'm gonna go with the bottle. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. A squirrel. So cute. Okay, we're not shooting the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Okay. Butterfly effects update. Oh, so we're playing as Chris now. Okay, well, I want to, um, I, I want to do this. <laughs> okay, so he is on his chart ball. Okay, so, um, he's got a pretty good relationship with Sam. And it's actually that he's got the crush on. And he's mostly curious and funny. Okay, so that's his info. So I guess we're following Sam now. Must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps going. I, I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He's been going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help for nothing. Okay, so there's a wanted man. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Okay. Let's go. I wish the camera was behind me, though. Oh, we're back to where we were. We, I guess we've got to maybe try and get this door open then. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, 
Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Okay, let's open it. After you. A oh, real gentleman. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's go up here. Oh, let's go this way first, actually. Uh, I can't go that way. Okay, I guess we're going up the stairs. I don't know how long I'm going to make this part. Closer. It's been like half an hour so far. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? It's a big mountain. Hmm. Okay. How do I get out of this? What a crazy oh. place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought a mountain. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see this thing. Some sort of cameras. Hmm. Anything else shining? Anything? What is this? No? Okay, let's go back out and see what Sam's doing. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Okay, let's go. I'm just like going to the prom. I don't like Here this car. Right. I don't like cable car things. Oh, yeah, Seem right. kind of like. What? I don't know. You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. I have something stuck in my eye and it's really irritating. Okay, so this is Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, and irreverent. I don't really know what that means. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Okay, let's have a little look at her things. So she's honest, funny, and romantic mostly. Okay, she's not very charitable. And she doesn't really get along with anyone much. I'm just pretty much Mike and Matt. Okay. Let's see how she goes. Anything I can look at up here? I don't know. <gasps> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Sure. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. 
It's all muscled down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Okay, explain. I'm with Mike now. Yeah, let's just explain. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. <laughs> so I wonder if that right, changed right, anything. Getting tired of all this nature Status stuff. update. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. All right, so I wanna. Seriously, oh. Couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Ooh, Emily, Mike's ex, and she's resourceful and persuasive and intelligent. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Okay, Emily's new boyfriend was motivated, ambitious, and active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? All right, let's let's have a little look at him. So he's actually got a better relationship with. Oh wait, yeah, Emily is, yeah. Emily and Jess is about the same for him, and e Emily's his girlfriend. You'd think Emily would be more, right? Um, He's not very funny or brave, but he has honest, uh, he has the other ones pretty all equal, so. Well, yes, we're going to follow. I like how we're left with the bags. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, Can you not carry your own out. bag? Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Alright, so this is Mike, Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, and persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool! Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Okay, so we could threaten or welcome. Uh, let's just welcome. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. Okay, then. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. I'm sure that's what okay. you need to do. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. Just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. <laughs> so she wants to go and find Sam when he's just walked that way. That is slightly suspicious, but we're going to go ahead and agree, I guess. Do whatever. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. 
I don't like her. I don't know what it is, but I don't like her. Okay. Also, she can carry her own bag. I, I hate that. Ashley has oh so they have a crush on each other so she's inquisitive for 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 free and academic okay so I guess we're looking for whoa hello I totally Somebody's called that one friendly I totally knew that in the friend zone kind of way they might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup I totally knew that. Oh! oh God. <laughs> really? Hey, whoa. Hey, sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, that... I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my God. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Oh, so that's pretty much his girlfriend with her, with her ex. Sure, take a look. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily. What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. I totally knew that. Since he walked off and then she's like, oh, I got, I got to go that way. I totally knew that would happen. Okay, we're back with Jessica. All right, so we could read the book or check our phone. Let's just read the book. Why not? Oh, oh you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, run. <laughs> oh, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. <laughs> Thing! Crap. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> okay. Where are you hiding, little chicken? Uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm bad at this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, ah, I was not ready for that one. Hey! Oh, snap! Oh, oh, is this the bird from the totem uh, earlier? Okay. Hello! Come on! Oh gosh, get him. Hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me. I think we're going to win this. Okay, sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Okay, I'm not going to do that to the bird. Yay. Now we're going to... Whoa! Ow! Right. Why you just... And then what? Oh, ho no more. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you go down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Uh, 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 um, grab the snowball. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. 
We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was... How does she not have snow time? on her? Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay, so, um... How long has this been? It's like 47 minutes. I think we're just going to play until the hour's up and then we'll... We'll see. Ooh, we're back here with Mr. Prison Break. Okay. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Uh, women. Okay. Turn the page. Uh, crates. Crates. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, drown, drown, drowning. Okay. Uh, okay, snakes are rats. It's definitely snakes. Okay, turn the page. Guns are knife. Guns. Guns. Okay. Snakes are beetles. Snakes. Gosh, is this gonna make everything I pick jump out at me? <laughs> Alright, let's let's go to the next. Clowns are zombie. Oh. Why did I think that was a zombie? I think it just seemed like the masked face. Uh, Scarecrow, uh, Clown, I don't know actually, probably Clown, oh that's the page thing, okay, Clown, uh, Turn, Gore or Crows, definitely Gore, oh, did I startle you, so sorry, you're doing very well, Dumping those. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh, uh, um, okay, next page. Uh, snakes. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, Needle. Oh no, no, no. I, I don't know. Why did I choose that? I feel like gore probably actually now that I looked at it again. Oh, oh that, that's definitely a zombie. Okay, uh, mm, clowns. Okay. Uh, dogs or needles? Needles. Okay. Uh, needles or sorry, needles. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. You are welcome. Snakes, and clowns, and needles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, Bo. I promise. We'll talk again very soon. 
All right, so what I'm actually going to do since it's come up with a previously on thing is I'm going to actually end this part here. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this and I will speak with you all soon. Bye everyone.